Ramadan, a 30 days period where people fast from sunrise to sunset. If you are familiar with the intermittent fasting, it's almost the same thing. But the difference is that you will not be able to consume your zero caloric liquids such as water, your BCAs or your coffee. When it comes to Ramadan and fitness, there will be so many questions. Can we build muscle? Are we going to lose muscle? Or are we going to gain fat? Let's see how best we can keep ourselves on top of the game. Stay tuned until end of this video. Muscle building. When it comes to muscle building, your body's main goal is to survive. The last thing your body wants to do is to build muscle or lose fat. If you want to maintain or build muscle, you will never want to lift weights on an empty stomach. I have seen many people trying to lift weights during fasting and complaining later of losing muscle. Well, definitely that's going to happen. These are the reasons why. Remember, your muscles need those amino acids and glycogen during the time of weight training. If you're on a fasted state, your glycogen levels will be low. The reason behind this is that you burned your glycogen levels throughout your carbs during the period of fasting. Also, your amino acid levels will be depleted because you burned up your proteins through your fasting. Remember, proteins need to be constantly replenished. It cannot be stored or hard to be stored like carbs or fats. And what happens if you lift weights without any amino acids in your body? Your body will break down those muscle tissues to obtain amino acids stored in them, which will definitely lead to muscle loss. Now cardio is not optional because remember, professionals do sip into their BCAs to replace amino acids and electrolytes at the time when they're doing their cardio on an empty stomach during intermittent fasting to prevent muscle loss. So the question is, how do you train during Ramadan? There is no need to hit the panic button. You work out the way you work out. Don't listen to those gym bros who will try to slow down your training with their various equations. You just have to keep your meals and recovery phase going in the right direction and there is no need for you to compromise on your training. You hit that gym with your goal in mind and you make sure that your workout is complete when you get out from that gym. The only thing that you should avoid is working out or lifting weights or doing resistance type of training on an empty stomach. And I have explained all the reasons why during the first few minutes of this video. Meal planning. The two most important meal is your pre-workout meal and your post-workout meal. So when you are observing Ramadan or let it be intermittent fasting, the simple rule is to eat before your workout and after your workout. You can have a good solid pre-workout meal by combining carbs, proteins, fats. At the time you are breaking your fast, if your workout is two and a half hours later. Else I would suggest that you take your BCAs and a scoop of whey protein isolate at the time of breaking fast if you want to hit that gym within the next one hour. Later you can complete the rest of the meals post-workout. Casein is a very slow digesting protein and it will fuel your body for the next six to eight hours. Conclusion. There is no need to think too much during Ramadan. The night becomes your day and day becomes your night. You just have to switch your body clock while it recognizes the new pattern. The ultimate goal is to minimize your body getting into a catabolic state. Keep your meals as planned, hydrate yourself well and stay away from a lot of sweets and unhealthy fatty dishes. During Ramadan, I personally get into a mental anxiety instead of trying to lose weight or build muscle. Because it's easy to maintain what you have than trying to achieve new set of goals. And when you are fasting, your body automatically switches to losing fat. So this is some good news for most of you. During the time of fasting, you may also feel like your body is losing muscles. 
But guess what? You are not actually losing your muscles. It's a feeling that you get when your body is not feeling. As I always mentioned, if your meal plan, supplementation and training is on the right direction, your body always goes in the right direction. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that this video will help you to keep up with your fitness goals during Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to you and your loved ones. Please don't forget to check out my other videos for more fitness information. See you on another amazing episode.